Hello, and welcome to yet another video that probably has nothing to do with any of the other videos I have ever uploaded. Although in this case, you can probably tell that it does. Because in front of me, to my right and your left, is my iRobot Roomba S9 Plus, and to my left and your right is some beer. Now, this is not from a previous video, but this was in a previous video. So before we get to this, let's address the beer in the room. It was really hot today. Still is pretty hot here in Southern California. I had resolved to start doing a series of videos where I would go around and exploring cities. And this weekend, which is a three-day weekend for those who observe the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday here in the United States, or anywhere in the world for that matter, and it's an important holiday, was a good weekend to start. Were it not for the fact that it is mid-January, technically the winter, and it was over 90 degrees in the in the shade yesterday. It was incredibly hot. Today it was also hot. So temporarily postponing that, but still I did resolve to make more videos. So I have a reason to make this one. And we'll get to that right after I take a sip of this beer. Oh, that's good beer. Again, before we get to that, I'm going to talk about this for just a second. This beer is from a local brewery here in the Burbank area called Trustworthy Brewing. I love going there. Granted that we're living through a pandemic right now, you can't go to bars. But what's really nice is that you can go there and you can just get your growler filled and you can have as close to like a fresh, fresh off the tap uh, beer as you want. Um, and so whenever I feel the need, I go there and I get it. And it's really, it's good stuff. They also have a restaurant and a brewery in Las Vegas, Nevada, or Nevada. But I wouldn't recommend going there with friends. You know, I'd recommend going and getting takeout right now or getting your beer to go like I do. That's probably the best way to do it. Moving on. I'm back here with my Roomba. I'm going to center it in the screen here. There we go. In my previous video, I tried to fix my Roomba S9. And I succeeded, or so I thought. The issues I was having, I'm going to just recap them real quick here, was that the lid was not closing or it was telling me that it wasn't closed and it couldn't run if the lid wasn't closed. The app recommended that I clean the contacts under the lid. So we're gonna open this and I'm gonna show you that. There's a series of contacts there and there. And when they come into contact with one another, that's how the robot knows the lid is closed. Stop running. Nope, nope. I'm keeping that in. Literally has a mind of its own. Anyway, where was I? That's how the robot knows that the lid is closed. And as long as the lid is closed, it can run. I assume this is because if it thinks the lid is open, it's gonna spew dust everywhere as it goes around vacuuming your floor. That wasn't, it was closed, but it didn't know it was closed. So what the app recommended you do is you open this up and you clean these contacts, which I did. And it worked. It worked well. I got two cycles out of it before it stopped working again. So I went in and I cleaned the contacts again. And again, it worked. The issue was that it kept on losing that cleaning. And I couldn't figure out why. So the next step I took was to call customer service and support. And here's what they suggested. They said to take a paper clip, which I don't have because I live pretty much paperlessly. So I don't have paper clips or staples or that kind of stuff. And they told me to open the lid. And in my case, what I used was a Allen wrench or an Allen key which was very small. And if you look inside, 
you'll notice that the contacts on the lower side are spring-loaded. So what you simply do is you simply pop them back into place. I'm not going to do it now because they're working. And once they're popped back into place, they provide that, uh, that pressure that is needed for the contacts to go in. And that has since solved it. They were very nice. They were very helpful. Really happy with that. Now, here's why I'm telling you about this. I got a really nice comment on my last video from YouTube user Fondue, who said that Stanley Kubrick's films were as good as my iRobot Roomba video. And I really took that to heart. I was like, yeah, you know, I make the best videos on YouTube, don't I? But then on top of that, Fondue subscribed. And Fondue also mentioned that Fondue is having an Error 31 with their Roomba S9. So here's what I would suggest. I've never had that problem, but what I can tell you is that picking up the phone and calling iRobot support is the best thing you can do. They're really, really good. In my case, it was just a simple matter of pulling those contacts back up. But my mother, who also owns several Roombas, uh, I can tell you had a great experience with them because on one occasion, a kitten she had adopted wasn't house trained yet and did a little number two in the corner. And my mother's Roomba went and of course sucked all that wet poop up and immediately shorted out and died. She didn't realize this was the problem, but she called customer support. And when they talked her through taking it apart, guess what they found? And I robot, despite the fact that this was not necessarily eligible for warranty replacement, sent my mom a new robot. And that, I think, is excellent customer service. So, Fondue, that is my suggestion to you. I've also looked on Reddit. I see that the Error 31 problem with these is somewhat prevalent on Reddit, and people have talked about going through two and three replacement robots and still having the same issue. But think about that. iRobot is willing to send out that many replacements to solve the problem. That's pretty cool. So again, like I know not all companies have great customer support or service, but some do. And in this case, iRobot is one of them. So I would, you know, if, if you've searched the internet and you simply cannot find another solution, hold on, I'm gonna take a sip of beer. I'm back. If you simply can't find the solution, give them a call. I'm sure they will be perfectly happy to help you and do what they need to to get things working for you. It's a great robot. You know, you could uh, possibly say that it's a lot like a Land Rover, which is a fantastic vehicle, but sometimes even those need maintenance, believe it or not, or repairs. I don't know why I came up with that as an example just now. but it fits. So yeah, um, never be afraid to take advantage of, um, or at least leverage a product's customer service team. They're there to help. So I'm just kind of rambling now, but again, just wanted to, uh, let you know that that's the latest on this. It's working fine. Oh, And before I forget, the video you saw at the beginning of this of me being frustrated as this thing just spun round and round and round, I also talked to customer service about that. And they asked me a question that simply just hadn't dawned on me, which was, had I added any lighting to my, uh, to my living space recently? And after I thought about it, I said, yes, I've added two or three lights. And that was the cause because this robot has a little camera that is shooting upward and looking at, you know, light shapes, colors uh, above it. And it uses that in its mapping of your living space. So you throw a new light up there 
shining down on it, if you don't remap your floor with the robot, it's going to go all kinds of haywire because it can't navigate anymore. It's like bright lights in your eyes when you're driving down the road. So as soon as I switched those lights off, everything was fine. So again, it's, it's a matter of, uh, it's, it's a matter of, you know, working within the parameters that the robot is designed to work within itself. So everything's hunky dory with this now it's working great. Um, I'm not going to splice in video of a hidden camera filming it, doing its thing because that did not work out well last time. And I can just tell you that it works, nor am I going to build a trough and fill it with rice and shoot a time lapse of it sucking up rice. I find those to be kind of useless. I'm just going to stand here and tell you it's great. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. I'll keep making videos. Fondue, you're awesome. I wish you the best. And let's all stay cool this winter because it's 90 degrees out there. What's up with that? See you soon.